Hey, what is up guys? No subscribers guy back again for another episode in the Minecraft Inspiration series. And today we're just going to continue on with part two of the McDonald's. The McDonald's that we're building and here it is. So we finished off last time just doing part of the roof on this side, so we're going to continue around here. So on this front piece, one, leaving a gap of three, leaving a gap of two. Ooh, that doesn't work. Um, no. Right, what we'll do is, seeing as this isn't wide enough, we'll make gaps of two on this one. And that's a gap of three. Alright. So, from the outside is a gap of two. That, a gap of three in the middle, and a gap of two on the outside. With the yellows, and then put red on the inside. There. If that makes sort of sense, on this front one here, it's one, gap of two, whoop, gap of two. Three, and then another gap of two. And we need to, we'll extend this three high in a minute or so. Yeah, we just need to, yeah, we'll do it three high first. So put that there. And put that like that. And then there. So the roof overall, as I said, is three stairs up. Or three stairs along, or three stairs diagonally, or whatever you want to say. However you want to say it. Now the corners, the corners, the question is how are we going to do the corners? Well, if we, we turn, uh, well that's going to have that like that, to put a sandstone block there I think, put that there, that there, and then uh, that there, and turn that into a sideways stair like that. It's a bit complicated in the corners, but it makes sense. And just fill it in. Uh, fill that in like that. That works. That does work actually. But leave that corner bit there. Or should we just fill that in? Yeah, just fill that corner bit in there like that. So you're getting that. A bit complicated. We'll try again on the other side. But that sort of does sort of work, I guess. Continuing on with the old stripe pan that we've got going here. We'll try and repeat it on the other side. Make it a bit simpler. It's quite complicated this, but I think it'll be alright. One uh, one on the sun is right in our eyes. We'll get rid of that. Uh, that gap of Two, gap of three, gap of two, okay, yep. And then we'll just go along and fill this in like this. Pretty simple to be honest, and pretty easy to be honest as well. Just doing this across here, nothing nothing too complicated. Definitely isn't too complicated, but it does. What I think this does is it does capture the... Um, uh, what's the best way to describe it? The stripe pattern in a McDonald's uh, stripe pattern. You know McDonald's do red and, and, and white sort of themed. That's their thing. Is 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 red and not red and white. Red and yellow colours is definitely the McDonald's colour scheme around the world. And then we just fill this corner in like that. Fill this corner in like that. We can get to it there and fill this uh, corner in like that. Okay, pretty simple. Nothing too difficult. Nothing too difficult. And then I'm already putting this uh, over that. Okay, so then this goes over here. Gaps of three. Gap of three. Gap of three in the middle between each one and a gap of three. Is that right? Let's just check that. I should, in theory, be ending on this last pole here. Are we doing that? Let's just go weather clear for that long. Oh, forward slash weather clear. Let's spell it correctly. 
Yeah, that's right. Okay. So from this pillar all the way to the right, it should be just in groups of three. Like so. Pretty simple. Oh, okay, like this. Nothing too complicated coming out here. And just keep repeating it over and over. Like this. And obviously the third layer will be done. Okay, well, we'll move around the side, actually one there, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, like that. So to fill it up sort of around the rim as well. No, we can fill it up around the, around the sides like this. Don't forget leaving the corner piece out like that. And just begin to connect this all up. Pretty easy. Shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> if you're a terrible builder, not to be able to build a McDonald's this basic. But I still think it looks. I think it looks. Still looks pretty nice anyway. That's what I was going for. Simplicity and niceness. Nothing too complicated. And nothing too easy. Like that. Let me just fill that in. You do it the right way up. There we go. Right. Fill that in. And then we'll have to fill in the roof material, which I haven't decided what I'll be using yet to fill the the roof. I'll show you what I mean by fill the roof material in, because this isn't going to be like a spiked roof or like a roof roof. You have a flat top to it. Like this. Okay. In the corners. There and there. And there, and we bring it up another layer as well. We completely forgot about that. There, upside down, up, oh, stair layer like that. You can do any pattern you want. I put three in the middle just because I thought it looked nice. Three of um, nether brick stairs, and this type of wood just because, as I said in previous videos, it looks quite like yellow and red of the McDonald's styled stripe. Now I'm planning on keeping this episode pretty short, just to, um, I guess it's just to finish the roof and start laying the groundwork for the rest of the McDonald's itself. So for this for this actual one, we're going to be doing the interior for once. I hope that will go well. I haven't really planned it out at all. I will be doing it next episode or so, sort of off the bat. And we'll also build a parking lot, the car park, and a drive through Or hopefully a drive through so here we're just filling out that third layer. That's actually meant to be that. And one and two. And a three. And a there. Okay, once we've done this, we can then join up the roofs, the two roofs, should we say, and then we'll then we'll continue on with the more important points. Pull this corner in. One, two, uh, one, two there, uh, there and there. Fill that in like that. All right. Go there. And then we have to put that there. And that there. Whoops. All right, hold on. I almost fell over then. Okay, here we go, and here as well, fill this in. What have we done wrong on this side? We haven't done anything wrong on this side. figure out what I've done wrong here. Cannot quite figure out what we have done wrong here actually. No, we haven't done anything wrong, I'm just getting confused. There we go. 
Right, that's the four corners, or the four bits attached. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this roof area. What do I mean roof area? I mean this big flat area here on top. And we're going to be doing it off of this layer here now. Hmm, we've got anything here we can use. Um, uh, I might use this black wall. Let's have a look what the black wall looks like. I think that works. We use black wall. So for the roof, I'm just going to fill it in with black wall. Under the top layer of stairs, there's a lip where the stairs end and the... Well, the stairs end where the roof is. And it's just one under, if you get what I mean. Under this lip here. So we're going to completely fill this out with black wall. Hopefully as quickly as possible. So the next episode will be sort of finishing off the exterior, which will take pretty quickly, pretty easy. A few lamps, a few extra bits. It'll look all nice. Off camera I'll do some car park work and stuff, and then we'll build the McDonald's sign itself out front. The, the old famous McDonald's sign that every McDonald's has out front. But this episode is just filling in the rest of this. this roof which shouldn't take too long should only take a couple of seconds and then obviously next episode outside rest of the outside two minutes and start on the interior so the kitchen area and the dining area and of course the drive through area we'll put a small drive through place in with a drive through window and whatnot. That's what the that's what the roof from on top starts to look like. It's pretty simple, pretty plain, nothing fancy. But still something that looks pretty nice to be honest. And then we'll uh, put that across there like that. Just go in here, come in here like this. And come backwards like that. And we'll just start filling it in on the inside pretty easily, pretty quickly to be honest. It's not a huge area that we have to cover here. It has to be done, and it has to be. It just makes it look nice, I guess. The black wall, I guess, complements. Well, not a compliment. It just. It makes it. It makes a nice material to look at in this texture pack with the shaders on. You can use whatever material you want. Obviously, I'm using this. If you're building this and copying what I do, good luck. <laughs> no, it's um. It makes it look nice in this texture pack. Obviously, I'm using uh, whatever texture pack it is. Flows HD. That's close. HD. Pretty easy. Good texture pack. I like it to be honest. I like it quite a lot. And along with shaders. Mod obviously. And there we go. We've almost filled this in. And there we go. We filled it in. So back to daytime. We've just got this middle bit left to fill in. And then we're done. done for today's episode of episode episode just say episode just today's episode and then that'll be it for today obviously next one is of course as I've said before so yeah this should be this should end I think this is going to end up being quite a nice build something basic and simple nothing too complicated but not something that everyone or most, or pretty much everyone can copy or take this stylized ideas from and build their own version of. I really do like, I really do like the sandstone and cobblestone effect I've got down there with the white stained glass windows. 
I think it just works. I think it just looks good. Alright, so this episode has been primarily just looking at wool in front of us, but got some good points across about the next episode and what we plan to do with this build. And what we think about this build as well. Just most important is if I like it or do I like it because I'm the one building and I'm the one who's going to see it most of the time. So there we have it. The completed roof of the McDonald's. Let us just grab some yellow wool. Along with some... Uh, yeah, let's grab some red wool as well. Here. Uh, the second layer. Five across. One, two and three. Bring that up by two. And ta-da, we have our M. Could make it bigger. Could do it up another one. Let's do that. And there you go. M on the building. And we'll do the sign one next time. But that is that for now. There's the outside. We'll do the interior next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please do not forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And please comment on what you'd like to see next, maybe, or just what you thought of this building in general. Uh, any positive feedback is greatly accepted. All I can say for now is I've been No Subscribes Guy, and thank you for watching.